Hi, it's the Sunday Carpenter. We're going to learn how to make a spooky jack-o'-lantern. So today we're making a jack-o'-lantern. We're going to use your standard orange pumpkin. We've got a big bucket. The buckets put all the stuff from inside in here. We've got a small knife. You can use a larger knife if you want, but I like the smaller blade. It makes it easiest to cut. A big spoon. A big spoon will work best for scraping out the insides. A small spoon will work, but it takes a long time. Got herself one standard magic marker. This is optional. You can draw the face if you want, but if you have an idea in your head, you can just cut it. That's okay too. It's one marker. If you want to get really fancy, you can get yourself a cutter like this. It's just a jigsaw blade put into a wooden handle. And if you want to do curves, this works really well for that. Today I'm not going to use this, we're going to keep it simple, just use our spoon, our marker, and our knife. So let's get started. Step one for making a good jack-o'-lantern is to find the best surface on the pumpkin to put the face. This front side is really good, so we're going to use this side. We're going to take a marker, and we're going to briefly draw where we're going to open the top and we're going to draw our face. We want the opening on the top to be fairly large, large enough to fit our hand and the spoon in. This line doesn't have to be perfect, it's just something so you know where to cut. Next we're going to draw the face. Nice big happy triangles. Should we give him a nose? Let's give him a nose. And let's give him some teeth. We're going to give him happy square teeth. One on the bottom, and we have our face. When you make your jack-o'-lantern face, you want to keep the lines fairly straight and easy to cut. You're cutting into a rather thick pumpkin, and if you get circles or anything too small, it gets very difficult to cut later. So let's cut. Wiggle the knife in and readjust. Whoa. Watch out for soft spots in the pumpkin. So the next thing to do is cut off the excess from the inside of the top. Carve it off. Just like that. Put that off to the side for later. Next, we're going to get rid of the inside of the pumpkin. This is where the scoop comes in handy. Big one. Just want to scoop the insides, go around the edges. If you've ever scooped ice cream, this is very similar to that. And you just scoop and pull until you're finished. Our jack-o'-lantern is clean on the inside. A little tip for cutting it is to 
cut almost at the edge for your start, but not at the very edge. If you start close to the edge, cut down to this one, and then you can go back the other way and clean up your edges, you'll get a really nice cut. We're going to do that for the eyes first, then the nose, then we're going to do the mouth last. The hint for the mouth would be cut it off in sections. You don't have to do one giant piece. You can cut it off here, take that section out, cut off this piece here, that's another piece, and just take it in little pieces and you'll get a much cleaner, easier cut. Okay, so right now we're just putting your knife in there. Oh my god, it hurts! Help! Ah! Now seriously, don't play with knives. Put that in. Cut slowly over to the corner. We're in the corner. And pull it out. Then you can put it back in. And go the other way, back to where we just were, to finish up that corner. By doing that, you get a good cut. We'll do the same thing at the top. Over here. And again, back to the corner. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Now pumpkins have soft spots, so when you're cutting, be careful you don't hit one, because it'll just go right in. And get right up to the corners. It looks nice. Okay, we finished the eyes and Boop. Boop. I see you. Feel free to rotate your pumpkin so it's in the easiest, safest position for you to cut. One point to remember when you're making, or drawing actually, when you're drawing the jack-o'-lantern, is to leave space between the parts that are going to be cut. Now what do I mean by that is between the nose and the mouth, you want to leave a gap. I usually use about a two finger gap here, and the same for the eyes and the nose here and here. If you put them too close together, they'll break and you'll have just one big eye or just a crazy looking jack-o'-lantern. Now, if you're looking for a crazy jack-o'-lantern, then that would be okay. It's a pretty simple process. Just be careful with your knife. Be careful with the corners of your piece. And you'll get a nice, spooky Halloween jack-o'-lantern. Thanks for watching our How to Make a Jack-o'-Lantern video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope that you try making one of these for yourself. It's simple and it's easy. And with this video, you can probably make one for yourself. Uh, if you like the video, why don't you hit the like button down below. And if you want further updates, hit the subscribe button too. Thanks. See you next time.